All right, good morning, everyone. New project in the shop. We've got a 2019 Jeep Cherokee or Grand Grand Cherokee um, Limited. So it's got, it's fully loaded. I'll show you what we got here. All right, so pretty nice unit. I think this lady works for a Dodge dealership. A nice... open space back there what are we putting in this let's see we've got the infinity reference 6532ex and the infinity reference 9630s so i believe these are I believe these are going in the back door and these are going in the front doors oh they're i didn't know they made a component six by nine interesting Okay, and then we're doing a Rockford, um, what do we got here? What is this thing? Punch 10. So this is the all-in-one uh, powered woofer um, unit. These are nice. Uh, put a little 8-gauge wire kit in here. I haven't looked really in to see where the battery, where the battery is on this, what we're doing. But, um, okay, so the tweeter's in the door, 6x9 down here, that side as well. Good. All right, we're not having to string wires all over the place. That's nice. And all right, we're going to put the base knob like in this area here. She's she's left-handed, so it works. Um, all right, yeah, so that's where we're at. Uh, try and film this like I do with some of my other videos. Um, not much really wiring to show you. It's I've got uh, I've got speaker. Uh, speaker wire adapters and stuff like that from Crutchfeld, so it's going to be pretty plug and play. Um, once I get the doors apart, I'll take a look, or I'll grab you guys and uh, show you where we're at, but uh, right now I'm just going to lay out a plan, figure out where things are going to go, and uh, go from there. I'll be back. Alright, uh, it's been about, about 15 minutes. kind of got a plan laid out here, started to see what this uh, car's got going on. So let me show you something here. I repositioned it in the shop to just give myself uh, I want to be able to close the door. It's like 40 degrees out right now. And I mean, the sun's shining on this side, but boy, it just makes everything so much more brittle. Uh, let me turn you around here. Okay, so the door actually wasn't too bad. Um, you've got one screw, I guess I don't need the light. Um, yeah, one screw here that's through the through the handle. And then I thought I needed to remove that 10 millimeter bolt, but I only need to remove that. And then the door handle kind of opens up as you remove the panel. So I mounted that back into place just to make sure it doesn't flop around. But it's got all these little clips, and they're strong, and they do a good job. I'm very well done, Jeep. Uh, there's the speaker. Tweeter's up in the sail panel, and the sail panel is that whole piece. But it's got two, it's got a little plastic clip there, a little plastic clip there, and then it just all kind of squeezes like into this area of the door. Like it just it like wraps around and squeezes. So I, I'm like gently pulling, trying to find, you know, where the little clips are and nope, just a uh, pressure. So nice. And then the battery, <laughs> battery's interesting. So yeah, looking around like, hey, where's the battery? Where's the battery? Where's the battery? Oh, look at this little red thing. No, it's not there. That's just your jump point. So I like, great. The battery's in the back. No, battery's not in the back. The battery on this one is under the front seat, front passenger seat, for whatever reason. I'm sure because when they put the V8 in these things, there's no room for a battery in the, under the hood. But so when I'm ready to hook up to the um, amp i'm gonna have to put the fuse for it underneath here and then that nut that i need to touch or need to hook up to is underneath the plastic so i have to take the positive terminal off the battery hook my wire up to that nut and then put everything back on because i really don't want to spend a, an hour trying to get this battery out or moved um but that'll that'll be nice. I can run everything inside. Everything will come 
right down, you know, here and feed back. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to pull this panel off, which should be fun, and tap into the subwoofer um, signal. And then that way I'll have a nice clean signal coming back, have it all in this area. I'll probably attach it to their tie down that they've got there. Um, she said she doesn't really need it to be able to move. She just wants it to, you know, be secure, I guess. Uh, they really didn't, she doesn't haul anything. So just want a little extra thump in here. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I think these door panels are actually going to go pretty well. Um, the Crutchfeld uh, kit came with the adapt speaker adapters and they're infinities. So they're going to fit because that's the radio that uh, Jeep partners with, the brand Jeep partners with, with when they do their premium sound system, which this has got some sort of upgraded sound system, obviously with the subwoofer, but there's no markings on it or anything. There's nothing on the doors. The radio isn't really, I mean, it's got the eight inch screen. It's got, it doesn't really have the big screen. Um, so although this, this is fully loaded, so it's got, it's got extra, this, these might not sound right when it's all done, but I'm putting in what the customer bought and that's, that's what they choose to do. I originally, it was only going to be the subwoofer added. It wasn't going to be the speakers. And then he decided to go with speakers too, which, you know, perfect for these. I mean, the, the infinities are great. So I, I'm, I'm sure it's going to sound good, but it probably won't. It's going to sound different for sure. It might not sound better. I guess it's already upgraded, so it's not, I don't know how to explain it. It's going to sound different, but hopefully for the good. So uh, we're not adding an amp or anything like that. So it's just run off the factory amp, which upgraded sound system should sound okay. All right, enough for me rambling. I'm going to get to work and I'm going to, when I got the driver's door done, I'll come back and I'll show you guys what I got. So I might, I might poke in, you know, in between two. All right, I'm back. Uh, it's been about a half hour, probably. I'm not even sure anymore. Okay, let me show you what we got going on here. Okay, got the new sub, uh, 6x9 in. Got the wires ran through. This is how it uh, goes through. They got a little channel here. I pulled some of the excess wire up so it wasn't going back and catching the window. Um, tweeter plugs in here. I've got the tweeter figured out. I went with that mount which allows repositioning I think the gloss black looks pretty nice against there had to glue it in I didn't want to it was the last choice because this nut that's supposed to go on the back doesn't fit I'd have to cut the nut and then it's not gonna do anything any good anyways um, the factory mount where did I where did I put that here it is oh, just caught it with my feet so that popped out and I, I was going to glue, having to glue the little tweeter in there anyways, but, um, cause there was no, none of the mounts would work, but this way they can actually adjust it. So I've got it set up so you can, I don't have enough. I don't have this secure enough or the, anyways, trust me, it slides, it, it turns back in and out so they can adjust it. Um, I was going to mount the, um, crossover down here and I did some testing uh, these wires are not the same or they're not connected you only get low end frequency here so it's crossed over at the amplifier and this thing definitely has a, an amp somewhere in here because there's a center channel and it works um, so I did some testing I, I plugged the tweeters in and uh, the tweeter is only getting it's only getting that's you know the really high frequencies I had used my meter everything was kilohertz um although the factory tweeter has a, a little cap on it um for a bass blocker I'm assuming but this tweeter doesn't I ran cranked that thing all the way up didn't hear any popping or anything in fact my left ear is still ringing from holding it too close but tested everything speaker actually sounds really good <coughs> oh. excuse me got something in my throat um yeah, so it's it it'll sound good. I'm I gotta patch those holes down there yet, but uh, 
I'm going to slap this door panel on, <clears throat> get this all put back together, and I'm going to go do the other side. Actually, I might do this back door first, and that way I got I know what i got to do for both doors on the other side, though I'm not going back and forth, you know, around the vehicle. And then, uh, then we'll start working on the subwoofer. So it's been about an hour to do this door, which is kind of what I budget, but um, it's going to go a lot quicker on that other side. I should get that other door banged out in, you know, 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, move on to the next door, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. It's about been five minutes or so. I got the front door put. That's all in. Um, when I said earlier in the video about um, removing the, just removing the screw that holds the door um, handle on to the door panel and leaving that 10 mil, you know, leaving it detached. Uh, no, you have to, you do have to take that, uh, you, have to, you have to have this loose, attach the, attach this to the door panel and then snap everything back in because <clears throat> there's an alignment problem and your bolt actually, um, it, yeah, the panel, it, it's, there's an alignment problem. It was a lot easier. I, I messed around with it for a while trying to get it apart, uh, or trying to get it to line back up going in there. And once I attached the handle back on, things snapped right back into place. So, uh, putting, let me go back. Putting this piece on is a little bit of a trick. Um, it's got to go in, it, it goes along, there's like a, it grabs the metal on this side and then kind of just wraps around. So you got to, easiest to start in this corner and just start pushing, you know, pushing around as you go. And then it just kind of works its way in until you get to here and that's fine. So there's the tweeter. And you can see I can I reposition it. So we'll leave it dead center for now. We'll sit and tune it later. Um, so yeah, so now I'm working on the back door. Just got a simple, uh, I don't even know if this is a two-way speaker. Um, it might be, it might not. We'll figure it out. Um, I know the, let's see, the ones we got here are a two-way so if it doesn't, um, if it if it doesn't have, what am I? If it is just a woofer, um, it's, it's all it's gonna it's all it's gonna use. So they might get a little extra tweeters in the back, or, you know, high end in the back. But there are no tweeters back in the in the back of the car. So um, hopefully this is a two way speaker, and uh, the putting these in the back will help brighten the sound a little bit more. So I'm old school. I like backfill. I don't like having my front stage being the only stage, so this will sound good. Those, the I did test the speaker up front. It sounds good, so it'll it'll, it'll be a, a good improvement for them. Um, not much. I mean, the, the stereo in this thing's pretty nice, but what's really going to turn it around or or set it off is that ten inch woofer in the back. She listens to pop music um, and rock, so. That's just going to add that nice little low end. Plus, it's a Jeep or a, an SUV, so it's going to fill the cabin with sound. So, looking forward to getting that thing in. So, less talk, more work. I'll be back when I've got this door done. And um, I might check in when I start working on the subwoofer because this video is getting a little long already. All right. See you later. Boy, I got going so quick on that uh, rear door on the driver's side. I forgot to even show you guys what it looked like when it was done. So, we're over here on the passenger side. Let me show you how this thing all goes together. A little bit easier. So I've got the speaker out. I've got foam. Jeez, I can't see my own finger. Uh, foam put on. Um, these infinities come with a bracket. You've got, if you've ever done or gotten any decent speakers, usually they come with, uh, I think Pioneer does the same thing. Uh, you've got speaker side. The other side's flat. So this is the channel where the wire goes. Um, I'm actually going to feed a little bit less into there because the extension, but we'll be able to feed it out. So these tabs, let me see if I can do this one-handed. I doubt I can. So these tabs all kind of line up with... Uh, okay. I'm not left-handed. Hold on. Get a little closer. There we go. Shit. Okay, so something like that. They all it it takes a little bit to there you go. And then the cable can still move. We'll 
So that goes in like that, and then you use the factory screws, and then we take the screws that came with the speaker, and I've got, got the foam on the back of the speaker, and that'll go in, and it'll all be done. Um, so I, I, what I did on the other door is I pulled this, pulled enough uh, slack, or all the extra slack out so it doesn't push push this back into um, the window or anything like that. So there's enough of a pigtail here um, where there's plenty I can, I can basically pull that thing up to about here. So yeah, so that's how it's all going to get done. Um, the, the other door took me five minutes. So um, this one, if I wanted to stop to talk to you guys, take me about the same. So I will uh, get these doors finished up and we'll come back when I start doing the subwoofer. So you can come and, you know, curse with me while I'm trying to remove that back panel. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's been about 15 minutes, maybe, maybe 20. And uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the, the glue to dry on the tweeter for the passenger door. I got the driver's or the passenger rear door put together and realized I didn't even take, you know, come back and show you what the speaker looked like installed. I'm not going to pull it back apart. Um, Looks nice. Looks just like factory. Um, let me show you what I've been doing. Just had to remove just a, a little, little bit of plastic, little, just a little bit of storage bins, um, just you know to get at that. But honestly, not too bad. I'm really impressed uh, how easy uh, this was to take apart. The little tray that goes that goes around here, yeah, lots of storage, lots of lots of room. Really neat. Well done, well done, Jeep. Look at this. They even have they even have the uh, frame filled with uh, with foam. It's pretty nice. Expandable foam, nice and quiet, nice and dense. So full size spare. It's a seal camp. Um, you all remember those commercials, the Volkswagen ones. Anyways. Dating myself here. Uh, so next, I'm going to tap into a tap into those wires there to grab my signal for the subwoofer that's going to go back here. And then while I've got all this apart, I'm going to run my wire, my power cables, and find a ground in this area somewhere. Um, I don't know where. See how much see how much uh, ground cable gave me. I might might do. Uh, down in that area, uh, kind of by that seat bracket, that's kind of exposed uh, when all this crap's put back together. So that's kind of the plan. Kind of the plan right now. Let me get into some light here. Um, so yeah, I'll put the front door back, front passenger door back together, and then uh, start running my cables. Um, yeah, I got. Oh, I got to run. Damn, I got to run the base knob. <laughs> Just thought of that. Uh, that sucks. That sucks when you forget to run the base knob after you've got everything done. You go to hook it up and went, oh, shit. So, um, normally I run that with battery cable or when I string from the front back. So, uh, yeah, everything's in the back now. So I'll have to run, which isn't hard. This trim pops up real nice. So, uh, fish that back and yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be getting close. Uh, I'd probably say about maybe an hour, hour 15 left. Um, fighting with that battery is going to be fun. Sucks. I got to disconnect. It says to disconnect the negative first on the instructions. So I had to pull the whole battery apart, which not a big deal. It does have that extra, like it's got auto start stop. So it's got the little battery to keep everything running. And so it's a backup type battery. So I thought about hooking to that because it's accessible. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it, I don't know how well that charges. It is only a hundred. Man, I don't know. I don't want to take the easier. I want to go to the big battery with this. So make sure it gets all the power. Make sure I don't kill that little battery. Yeah. In case she shuts it off, you know, I'm sure the main battery has, yeah, main battery has to provide power while the car is on, even though it's running off that little, that little starter battery. So, ah, We'll figure it out. Anyways, I'll be back uh, when I've got more stuff done here. And before I put all Humpty Dumpty back together here, I'll show you kind of how everything was routed. All right. It's been about 30 minutes or so. Maybe, maybe a little less. 
Let me uh, show you guys where I'm at. I've got my wires tapped in. I just tapped into one set. It's a dual voice coil subs, so they've got four wires going to, but they're both mono. Um, got it ran along there, uh, coming out. I haven't uh, gave myself plenty of length. Same with the power cable. I've got the power cable ran. Let me show you the ground. Ground is right there, uh, nice and tight. Um, got the power cable running along under the carpet. Gave myself plenty of length in there and I'll adjust that, um, trim it when, uh, to where I want it. But wasn't sure where I was gonna mount the um, fuse holder. Got the driver's door back together. Tweeters up there. And there's little infinity logos I'm gonna snap onto the uh, uh, grills when I'm all done. Um, had to pull this little plastic, uh, that piece out to run my power cables. And so now, hey, I bet that's the amp. Anyways, um, so now I'm going to run, uh, I'm going to put this panel back on, uh, start putting everything back together and then I'll wire wire all the sub and stuff, wear it all up once I've got all this false floor and crap back, uh, put back together. There we go. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. Um, everything sounds pretty good. The, the, those speakers do sound better. I, it definitely was an improvement over the, uh, factory one I was listening to when I was trying the driver's door, I was listening to the, the other door and yeah, yeah, they, it's, these tweeters are way brighter, so it's gonna with that with that sub added, it's gonna sound pretty good. Oh, here's where I mounted the uh, where I mounted the base knob. She wanted over on this side. I just used some double sided tape. Um, had to clean the these panels have a wax on them, so I had to use some rubbing alcohol to wipe it away. And then I just got the wire tucked there, and that's running down this side and coming out right there. So plenty of plenty of wire. Get all that situated. Get it all, you know, neatened up. I think I'm gonna run. I'm gonna make like a pigtail or what do you call it? A, a I don't even know. Fuck. I can't think of it right now. Anyways, I'm bundle all the wires together so it's a nice um, you know, I guess pigtail. Not really, but these these this sub you can unplug everything. It's uh, let me show you. So you've got your power remote and ground or something. These are the power and ground. This is the remote. We're gonna do auto turn on based on audio. Uh, we're gonna use a high input level and then the phase I'm gonna mess around with once I get it installed and all the crossover stuff. That's where the remote goes. So I'm gonna make a harness basically. All the wires are into one and I might do, I've got some big tech flex. I might just run everything into, into tech flex so it's all nice and contain looks good so i'll be back when i get to that point um probably about another half hour or so uh these plastic pieces go back together really well so are really easy so i will uh see you in a little bit okay i'm back it's about half hour or so later show you where i got oh whoops let me grab a light it's just freaking dark in here so got that that's just where I'm gonna probably mount it. I got a everything put into pigtail. Um, got the fuse holder just zip tied to the handles. There is no place to really put that thing under there, and oh, I still want to just let it flop down on the bottom, but I couldn't do that. So cover fits over it, though. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, move our hat out of the way here. Oop, nice finger. Let me show you. So I got, got that all, you know, tech flex down into one giant, you know, one big ribbon coming up through the seam of the, the seat. Oh, sorry about that. All right, now it's time to test and tune. Um, not really going to be able to do that with um, you guys, so uh, I think this will do it. I'm going to tune it real quick. I'll come back, give you my final comments on it, and let you know how, let you know what I think. Sorry about the jiggliness, I'm moving hands here. Um, 
yeah, uh, I think it's going to sound pretty good, but we'll, uh, we'll give her a listen here real quick and I'll come back and don't want to, I mean, it'll sound good to me. It won't really sound good to you. My microphones will pick up what they'll pick up. So probably sound distorted, but, um, yeah, I'll be back uh, in a little bit to wrap this up. All right, let's wrap this video up. Um, I'm back again, obviously. Uh, get everything put back together. Um, tune-ish. I mean, I can only tune it as best as I can by ear. Uh, barely have to turn the gain up. In fact, the only thing I did, I just turned the bass boost up a little bit and kept the crossover so I didn't play the higher frequencies because it's got that 8-inch uh, woofer over there, and I don't want them fighting each other on certain frequencies. She had her bass, treble, and mid cranked all the way up on the stereo, so... Once I turn that down to flat, a lot easier to tune and sounds a lot better now. So I'm going to, when they get here, educate her a little bit on how to properly adjust her settings and everything. Um, yeah, that's about it. That wraps this up. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry I didn't uh, get you guys involved in some of the work I was doing. Um, kind of just wanted to focus on getting this done. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching again and uh, have a good day.